Crikey's my new go-to word. Crikey people. And shout out to all the Gemini fans and the Yasuzu fans. Thanks guys. That was incredible. Oh yeah, it was incredible. It was last August. It was the Shannon Sydney Classic. Had the time of my life. I've got three videos coming at you. This is the first of three. And it's all about... HQ. No, not HQ Holdens. It's the Japanese cars in this one. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Even as I'm leaving Epic Wasabi cars, that is so cool. Oh, that was legendary. Oh, a little Chrysler Lancer. This... Now there is totally a row of Tiranas calling my name. However, I also see these Fiats, uh, but a row of Toyotas, classic Toyotas over there, which I could hardly go past either. I want to get over there, but I'm just gonna, sorry mate. Ah, here we go, hey, Land Cruiser. Interesting body there, people. Most interesting, that's pretty cool. Hardly ever see any of these in Japan, hey. And, uh, there we go, g'day. Hey. Hello. Hi, man, hey. Hi, nice to meet you. G'day, g'day. Hi, thanks. I've seen you on the internet. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Hi, man. Thanks, guys. That was incredible. Uh, crown. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I mean, this is cool. There's no question about that. I love, of the earlier crowns, I think this is one of my favorites, this face. And if you're talking Ute, maybe the, the earlier face, but this is so cool. I think I've seen just, what, one in Japan? That is an absolute stunner. Very, very cool. Shout out to the owner. Oh, a little KE, sorry, 10. Yeah, forgive my, 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 uh, what's the word? Hesitance, but uh, it's not quite a T27, but it's cool. Earlier face, I'm guessing. That's cool as heck too. Holy dude, there's a bus. Incredible, Celica, uh, convertible. Procedur. Uh, I had to stop in and see the RA40 because shout out to Vinny, shout out to everyone. In Japan, hardly any of these things. This thing is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that's a, that's an absolute credit to the owner. Thank you for bringing out today a little Corona. Or is it a 1600 GT? That's a bit of a joke for, for the, those of you playing at home. Uh, yeah, uh, some US muscle cars. Uh, wow, 350, Charger, what's that, a 70, Chevelle. And, uh, we, oh, I was gonna see the Tiranas, wasn't I? Holy crap, hot hatch anyone? It's cool. And apologies to all the Arbath peeps. That's probably half of the course, but I've got Taragos and Taranas to see. Oh, people. This is so much fun. Literally just got in the gate. Oh, a Holden. Uh, what is that, a Holden? The XC1, yeah? Yeah, it's a beauty, mate. <laughs> I paid a record 250 for this. 250? For one owner car. Yeah. All manual from Tasmania. Yeah, a oh, very nice one. Yeah. Sensational. Gr great to meet you. Good on you too. Have a good day. Oh, this is great. I can talk to people. Astra, that's it. Hold an Astra. We've got some Studebakers, Saab Toibo, Mini. I don't even know how do I, where do I go from here? I, how do I get out of here? Maxima, what's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, things to do, people. Things to do, people to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, Daimler is actually having an anniversary. This Suzuki. Oh, what? Look at this Mighty Boy, people. I mean, certainly there are Mighty Boys in Japan. What the heck is this? What is a. What 
is the deal? 81 grig, gr or rig, or rig, maybe? Uh, the seat, look at the trim, people. Yeah, the stripes. That is absolutely beautiful. Micro Car Models Australia, MMA, mixed martial arts, not exactly. XC with the frickin' the sundowner bits on it. People, okay. It's now officially ridiculous. I'm about to show you a car I've never seen in Japan. E70 series. Now they call them like a T18, I think, is that it? Crikey people. Crikey's my new go-to word. Yeah, Toyota T18 SE. Uh, E70 base. I'm just gonna see if he's got a manual gearbox. Looks like an auto that. It's incredible. Incredible. Oh, hello. HQ Monaro. Oh, and that Corolla as well. Never see them in Japan. That's incredible. Sure. This is a Chrysler. A Chrysler. Chrysler Lancer. This I saw. I saw this roll in, people. And I got very, very excited because uh, in Japan, mega rare. I've seen a brown Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, I have seen a white one at Mitsubishi's own museum. But super rare. GL grade. I wonder. I don't know what these are, are Aussie assembles. I'm not even sure. But muscle car sort of hounds, houndstooth or the herringbone or whatever the bloody the thing is. But beautiful dash, Colt uh, steering wheel, which is fantastic. Great style. Yeah, yeah, so cool. And you can see lines of like the Mitsubishi Colt Galant GTO sort of in this area here. Super cool. Wow. And I can smell, I can smell sausage sizzle, people. I can smell sausage sizzle. But check this out. 1600 S. What is, is that an option? S? Is that the same S? S? I would love to get the story of this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to investigate that a bit later. I've got to get some photos. Remind me, people. Too damn busy. Oops, sorry, mate. Exa. Here we go. Precious few of these in Japan. Are they option wheels? That's, That's right. interesting. Exa 1.8 twin cam. I gotta do a video of these, hey. Because even though I haven't seen many, I certainly have seen some. So I totally should be doing a video of these when I get back to Japan. But that's clean. Very, very nice. And of course, that's in Sunny. Forgive me if I got the name wrong. Is it a Nissan Sunny in this country? Uh, sunny truck. Short wheel base, Riverside. Let me just check the number. B120. Yeah. Oh, a stanza. KPA 10 stanza. That's a rare car. Ah, oh, certainly in Japan, hardly see any. Sorry, two though, I don't think I've seen any. And I think the sedans I've seen were Austers. But that is absolutely stunning. Datsun Sales Center, 1979. Oh, and I think I've seen a similar right up of the orange one i saw in brisbane at jamboree which is next week holy dolly a hucko we'll, we'll get to those in just a sec people but a beautiful blue uh non non-period wheels it's fair to say 910 bluebird that's a bluebird g'day nice cars <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, the stand is that? Oh, sorry? Oh, oh yours, yeah? yeah? Very, very nice. Doesn't have an Ellis in it, does it? No. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Nice. Thanks. Oh, I'll just... Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful. And a uh, little auto gearbox and Velour. Loving the Velour people. Get that Datsun difference. So cool. Capital Motors. I've also got a bit of a thing like... I sort of love seeing this stuff all, but I've got no clue where that is. Bluebird TRX, so an update, of course. Ah, oh, the runny nose. Excuse me. Well, they've been painted. The tire black is black as. Uh, but that, that's gorgeous. 
I wonder if they put that tape there to sort of stop a little bit of a um, a little bit of a vibration, perhaps. You know what I'm saying? Blue and interior, manual, three spoker, sports steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. That is cool as people. R32 sedan. Very nice. That's in pretty good nick too, actually. I do like the 32 and 33 four doors. I do, I do, I do. Very cool. That's clean as. Very nice. 300 ZX. Datto 510. Historical vehicle. Look at that. Historical damage. Got to preserve it. Uh, wow. Okay, people. Left hand drive. Two door sedan body style. I'm a bit slow on the on the on the uptake there, but I got it in the end. There you go, people. Very very cool. 1970. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. Uh, unusual to see this body style. Like in Japan, I saw one by accident in traffic once. Uh, another one was like Kaido Racing Specs, so yeah. modified, unrecognizable. Can I have a look at the engine, man? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah? Okay, we're gonna check out the, uh, the engine of this uh, L20B. Okay, two litre. So unusual to see such a big uh, L series engine in Japan. Even the six cylinders, well, most of them were like two litre. Here we go, four, four cylinder. Nice. And, and what's the induction setup you got going on here? Uh, it's fuel injected. Yep. Uh, runs a whole check computer now, so. Oh, okay. Massive shout out to the people of the Sydney Datsun Club. Super kind. I got introduced to a whole bunch of these cars here. So I stopped and I got a ton of information, which I'll probably soon forget. And apologies for that, but it was a great, a great time there with everyone there. So thank you so much. Now we've got some US and my, some of my favorite, favorite Holdens in the world over there. Incredible. Well, I just spotted something that I, I'm required to, to film and I, and I want to, of course, but an RA40 Celica in a beautiful shade of blue. 1980. Okay, so it's not pristine, but the fact that, uh, I mean, you can see that the car is loved, even though the paint's in need of a lot of attention to be honest but uh you know someone's hanging on to it preserving it that, that is such a good thing to see very very cool how's this honda accord people five speed this is an absolute beauty and i bumped into someone else earlier today who had a first gen accord i there can't be many around no. i thought i actually thought this would have been his car wow holy crap and then uh, you've got a car here today or oh, I, I i do but it's not a it's not a show car it's oh okay a, it's actually it's a first first generation of hundred so many wonderful cool this thing's amazing and like as i don't know if you know but none in japan yeah because they, like you said they just rusted out yeah there's some in america and there's a guy in england who's had restoration yeah but as far as i know this is the best original one but i've got it on on um historic retro okay. but these are the original number plates that came from Melbourne wow so. yeah oh okay wow okay so I've, I've got historic plates that I stick on the back and here we are at uh, I guess the Isuzu club that's cool as hell 1975 Isuzu Gemini Isuzu car club that's cool as heck people what's the deal with this one Gemini, I, were these not Holdens? Wow. Yeah, Holden Isuzu says so right there. There you go, and of course there was the Isuzu Statesman Deville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. Automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very nice. Very nice. Gemini. Ooh. Yeah, so cool. And shout out to all the Gemini fans and the Isuzu fans. GTR. Uh, beautiful Bellet sedan. 1500. people massive fail I walked through there went up there and I missed all this stuff here 
Oh, start your engines. How's this? Uh... Hello. What a beauty. Incredible. What a beautiful. They're about to take it out onto the lap, uh, the, the do a lap of the Concorde vehicles, I believe. Sorry. But this is incredible. Toyo Pet Corona and this body style. Rare as. But there are far more vehicles up here, including some HQs, people. And it is not acceptable. Is that a Mazda 929 that I did there? Oh. What an absolute beautiful vehicle. That's a beautiful vehicle, sir. Very nice. Cressida. Wow. Congratulations, wow. And I heard the story, or some of it, so yeah. well done. I'm being bossed around. <laughs> Very big thank you to Herbert. It's the weather, the wind, we could have done without, but no rain. So That's it. Folks, what an innovation. The spare wheel cup lifts out and becomes a picnic table. Oh, look at that. The car table. And, uh, What's the legs in here? What's the oh, deal? They just, they just sit down on the ground. Oh, okay. Picnic road. Well, that's your uh, picnic table. For sure. It's actually listed on the advertisement. Yeah, yeah. incredible. Thanks for coming all today, and congrats to CNC, and thanks very much for Are you able to determine the, the spec of the, that yeah. one picture? Is that a lower spec one? Um, that's that's the upper spec. Oh, so the deluxe model. Yep. It's got the blue interior. Ah. So it'd be cloth interior. Yep. Um, some I have seen in the slot in the 67, 68 that had uh, bucket seats in the front. But yep. I haven't seen one in real life. Oh, okay. Um, this is 66. Yep. Specs on the back. Holy this this is someone else, a 1966 October yep. uh, modern motor. So just yep. here. Uh, the door to the spare wheel well and tool compartment is a rectangular piece of clear plastic protected wood and it doubles as an excellent picnic table. 2,598. I can almost afford that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you beautiful. Some of the rust got cut out. Oh really? What were some trouble areas of the rust there? Um, just the tailgate here. Up here. Yeah. Piece yeah. there. So all, oh, this, yeah. all this both sides was cut out. Yeah. Uh, we've still got the lip over the edge. Yeah. So it's on both sides. Yeah. Um, all along the back, both sides was yeah. cut out. Yeah. Um, usual thing with lower guards. They were cut oh, okay. Um, yeah. Refabricated and put back in. Yeah. Um, luckily, it wasn't overly bad on the on the rust on this one. A couple yeah. little tiny spots indoors. Yeah. Um, that was about it. Yeah. But, uh, not, oh, on the firewall, we remade part of the firewall. Oh, so yeah, it had yeah. rust on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where there's three sheets that come together. Ah, the yeah, engine yeah. bay firewall, the dash firewall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we refabricated that yeah. and rewelded it all in. Understood. All photos of all that cut out, oh, welded, everything. I just realised I have to see the engine. Yeah. Uh, okay, York Motors. William, 101 William Street, Sydney, stock number 3745. That's, that's the original um, importer. Yep. Toyota in Australia. Yep. It was sold brand new by Tari Toyota or Tari Motorama back then. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, to an owner in Guildford. Yeah. And Sorry. that's where it stayed for many years. Okay. I just got to get the number P, uh, uh, PT56. Number oh, RT. RT56. Okay. So engine is a, a what R? 2R. 2R. Yeah. 1.5 litre. Yep. Jeez. And um, these L for these tags on the, the horns there. Yeah, they're all original. They're the original horns of that. So you've got a high and a low tone. So oh. you've got one's red and one's blue. Yep. So you yeah, high and low tone. This is incredible. And Dad actually brought this out of a wrecking yard. Yeah? Uh, in 1985. They'd been given to the wrecking yard because yeah. the original owner wanted to get rid of it out of their carport and yeah. have a Christmas party. Family Christmas place, so they gave it to the wrecking yard to get rid of it. Yeah, uh, dad spotted it as something unusual, so he brought it. Yeah, he paid a hundred dollars for it. Yeah, uh, and it sat for years. And yeah, I totaled one of my cars and put this back on the road to yeah. drive it. And being much younger, then I thought, Yeah, I'm not driving this, so I gave it back to dad. 
it, the, the the fabric on the seats that was you had. Uh, that's what was the, the deal? The original style of fabric. So oh, it's, it's not been retrimmed. Yeah. Law, it's been reupholstered. Oh, okay. But the fabric from factory was actually what they call brocade. Yeah. So I had that stuff brought out from America. Oh, okay. Um, so a meter wide, a meter and a half long. Yeah. It's five hundred dollars yeah, in America. Wow. Yeah, it's the closest match I can get to the actual original brocade. Oh, okay. Am I, am I right in thinking these flip out a certain like that's a resting no, position that's it. and it flips yeah. in? No, that's it. Just it oh, okay. Down. Oh, okay. Like and there's a okay. Big, big tension bar goes in and across the back. So just like an old yeah. car with boot springs, the boot springs run across the back there. Incredible. Yeah. And they have a mechanism that goes up to the front there. Yeah. Inside there, bolted under the pillow of three bolts, there's yeah. a whole spring preload in there. Yeah. And don't get them wrong. I did Great. the whole lot. Okay. And, and the back, I had to redo all this after, yeah. it was painted. after it was painted. Because they sprung back with such fault, they dented that panel out. Okay, and, and, on what, both sides. and what choice words did you use when that happened? Oh, many blue ones. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when, that's when Dad brought it. Oh, okay. So I was at the wrecking yard when Dad brought it. Oh, okay. So it had a fair bit of damage front, back. Mount Panorama. Yeah, he took it up for a run up there. There's a couple other photos from... Oh, so it's been an award winner for, for a while then? Oh, this was back in 2000, I think. Oh, there you go, 1996. So that one's 1996 and... I can't remember when that was. That was Toyota 2000 Nationals, so oh, okay. about 20 years ago. Yeah. So this went off the road in 2009. Yeah. Because it's just so tight. Oh, okay. And it's one of those things where it's been painted before, but to do it again, yeah. you couldn't just re tidy it up. Uh, it had to be done properly, properly so strip properly. it back to bare metal and do mm. it properly. Any nasty surprises? Or just you knew what you were getting into? Um, like, the, oh, yeah. like, you know, no, no, no. No, nothing really bad. Yeah. Um, nothing over the top. <laughs> <laughs> lucky that way. But that's when I stripped all the original paint off the roof. Yeah. So it's all back to bare metal. Oh, hello. Yeah. So that's that's parked in my garage at home. Yeah, yeah. 60, 68, um, no, 67, 1600 GT. Um, and the easiest way to tell if it's real yeah. is the firewall. Because yeah. the firewall is unique to the 1600 GT. But there's two types. So 1600 GT4 had a smaller bell housing. Yeah. 1600 GT5 had the five speed gearbox out of the 2000 GT. Yeah. It actually has a bigger tunnel. Yeah. And other than that, the yeah. brake master cylinder, if you look at this one, they're side by side. Yeah. On the 1600 GT, they're about that far apart. Oh, okay. Because in the owner's manual, it actually tells you how to heal and tote like a race driver. Oh, really? Here we go, people. Even as I'm leaving Epic Wasabi Cars, that is so cool. Oh, that was legendary. People, it's been a fantastic day at Sydney Motorsport Park. Oh, and there's a sweet bug. There's a, a bug up my... Yeah, yeah, that's cool as hell. Epic day! Oh my god! Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it. I probably would have posted a heap of pictures on Wasabi, Wasabi Cars underscore official on Insta. Do check that out. Everyone loves you all. What a great time I'm having in Australia. Absolutely fantastic. Love you. Goodbye.